Oh no, I'm gonna hit him again. Oh my god. I totally hit those. <laughs> this is where I need an off road bike. All right. Pictures are taken. So now it's official that we have been riding this road. So we are up in the Kribitz area. Whoop. I gotta do my zipper. Ah, my wallet would be falling out. But we're up in the Kribitz area in Wisconsin. Riding Rustic Road 32. This road is 37 miles long. Isn't that crazy? Most of the ones that I've done before are like two, three, maybe four miles long. So to say that this one's 37 is freaking sweet. I don't know if we're gonna do the whole thing or not because we gotta turn around and come back and there's two other rustic roads in Marinette County that we want to do yet before we head back down to Green Bay but fingers crossed this one I know is paved and gravel so we shall see how both of us do on this but it shouldn't be too bad so yeah let's enjoy the ride we are definitely in the Northwoods, and I love it. A little chilly though today. The sun isn't out, but it's a, mm, not quite 70s, I think. So pretty comfortable for everybody else riding, but I don't know, I live for the 80, 90 degree weather and riding. I'd rather be sweaty then just a little bit chilly and I'm feeling the chill. Cool. <laughs> Don't think we're too far away. stations are sparse depending on where they are so we filled up when we could and yeah it's awesome to be up in this area so let's head to the next rustic road sweetheart city road that's fun oh yay Day. This one looks gorgeous. I know. <laughs> Especially now. I think like in March or April it probably would have been eh. Yeah. But now it looks super cool. So weird. Alright. Make sure I was here. Alright, ready to be in this one too? <laughs> one, two, three. Nice. What is your count up to now for roasted groats? After today, I'll be at 24, I think. Seriously? <laughs> Dang it, that's awesome. Wait, we may be pretty close. Did you get your patch ready too? No, I'm gonna submit all 25 of them. Oh, that's awesome. Because I'm just, I like just started it this summer. Like I still, I wanna do all of them. Do you wanna do all of them? I do. Oh. I'm like, I you are my person. <laughs> them to like, do more like cool stuff. Like, oh, absolutely. Shit at 25. Like, <laughs> all right. Okay, let's go. Okie dokie. Whoop. Headed into the ditch. Anything with really tall trees where it's really tight up against the roadside, I think that's what makes it for me. Where you 
you feel you're like almost in like a tunnel of trees. But I absolutely love that she is just as gun ho about doing these as I am and completing the all of the rest of growth. So there are 120 of them and she just started this riding season and has completed 24 of them, which is amazing. But at 10, Rustic Road to get a patch, and then at 25, you get a certificate. But there's over 120 roads, and so after that, there's really nothing else, <laughs> unless you just have the drive to complete them all, like Caitlin and I do. So, I don't know. I guess I support trying to figure out more things to do at different milestones, because I think they're pretty sweet too to be able to do. Oh, that's freaking cool. Sweet. I really enjoy doing these rides. Let me know if you guys like seeing these rides as well because, I don't know, for me it's fun to share these experiences with people and honestly I'm not sure if all of the states really have any rustic roads like these. I'm not saying exactly like these, but just rustic roads to ride um, throughout their state. Uh, their Department of Transportation has set up anything like this, but I think for the state of Wisconsin, this is pretty, pretty cool to do. So yeah, I'm curious to know if anybody else, ooh, that was a really tough turn. <laughs> has something similar to this in their home state or country. <laughs> but I love taking you, my internet friends, along for along for the ride. I turned on my is it Rever? R E V E R app and I've been tracking it since I left Oshkosh. So I know I've probably put on at least 300 miles already. And then had at least another hundred on the way back home. I gotta do more of these in the fall though. Like peak season at first and second week of October is always the best for fall colors in Wisconsin. So if you're ever up here riding in the area or are in the area for whatever reason, definitely, I know it's a little bit colder the October time frame but it'll be gorgeous Ugh. as far as the fall colors go. <laughs> you go from one extreme to the other. I'm not sure if we're gonna hit gravel on this road. I don't think so but it I almost would prefer it over the bumps and potholes. I'm in too low of a gear. Oh, there's some gravel. Always an adventure. That is the end of the road. Oh, dang! Yeah. <laughs> Feels like you're on an adventure trail right now. Practicing your slow speeds on really bad roads. Like patched and repatched and not patched at all. And then add some water. It's just a recipe for fantastic rustic road. <laughs> so far, a really good ride. With new friends. I was thinking, this is a very good way for introverts to hang out. <laughs> Especially for me. Like, I don't have to 
keep a conversation going. We can just enjoy each other's company on two different bikes on the same road. I don't know how long we've been doing this for the past three hours, four hours. <laughs> that says a lot, right? Rustic Road in Oconjo County complete. I need gas. Pretty bad here. So we're going to stop at the lovely, lovely, lovely quick trip. If anybody knows, Caitlin now knows my love for stopping at quick trips. <laughs> Stop, get gas. I try to squeeze in one more rustic road if we can. Okie dokie. Time to leave the quick trip. If I do not sound more Wisconsin than that, I don't know what I don't know what that could be. Alrighty. Let's go. Until next time, quick trip. This looks fun. Not. We are definitely blue, hitting some rain. But it's like pop-up showers, so it probably should only last a handful of minutes, hopefully. Just finished. Rustic Road 8, it like poured on us on the freeway. And I am headed back that direction. I don't really want to put my rain gear on, so I'm not going to. And but today was fun. It was an absolute blast. Absolute blast. I had to get rid of my GoPro up here just because of the rain. I didn't trust it being open to the elements. So that's gone and I thought I'd just use this guy, you guys, to do my send off. And yeah, wet, rain, and all. <laughs> four, five rustic roads today. So thanks Caitlin for being an awesome person to ride with. And until the next one, we'll see you guys on the road. Bye.